Hi, my name is Mario Goldis, and I am the bald guy with the bow tie. Recently, I read a few books by Joshua Metcalf, Chop Wood, Carry Water, and Pound the Stone. Both contain basic life lessons based on fables that will change the way you see process, discipline, and life overall. To accomplish a goal, you must pound the stone every day. Did you know there are stone masons who pound a single stone a hundred times to make stone masterpieces that they sell? They do so with a brick hammer and on the hundred and first try, the stone breaks perfectly in half. However, the question, is it the hundred and first blow that cracks the stone perfectly in half? No, it's the hundred previous that slowly cracked the stone. Every blow makes a small crack which ultimately leads it to crack perfectly in half. 101 strikes to a piece of stone, would you stay committed to pounding the stone? Another example given in Chop Would Carry Water was that of the bamboo tree. Did you know it takes five years for a bamboo tree to grow? You can't see any signs of the bamboo growing at all, and all of a sudden in the fifth year of the watering and nurturing, the non-existent bamboo shoots out of the ground over 80 feet into the sky in six weeks. 80 feet? Can you imagine how frustrating it would be to plant a seed in water for five years? Five years of watering and loving a plant that gives you nothing, no sign of life? However, underground, its roots are growing strong under the earth. Your results are something you can't even see. Then out of nowhere, it makes up for lost time in six weeks. Knowing it took that level of commitment, would you stay committed to watering the bamboo daily? These books teach that we must fall in love with the process, not the reward. At times we learn from the pursuit of accomplishing the goal rather than the goal itself. How are you doing with your goals? Why or why not are you accomplishing your goals? Happy Monday and have a great week.